Two states have now banned former President Donald Trump from being on next year's primary ballot, and we're waiting to see how the Supreme Court will rule on that issue. And now one Arizona lawmaker is trying to keep President Biden off our primary here. Political editor Dennis Welch is live in the newsroom. What's this all about, Dennis? Well, we're still waiting on a bill to be filed down at the state capitol. And the Republicans behind this effort believe that it was simply a mistake to kick Trump off the ballot in those other states and try for trying to overturn the 2020 election. They say by that same logic that Biden should be removed as well. a bill he's working on for the new legislative session just a couple of weeks from now. His long shot proposal, kicking President Joe Biden off the 2024 ballot in Arizona. The reason, he says, is in retaliation for Democratic election officials in Colorado and Maine booting former President Trump from their state's ballots. The Democrats punch us and then what we do is we just take it. This is a way to actually punch back. This is to put them on the defensive. And for once, someone's going to actually do something about it and make them defend their argument. McGar is not acting alone. He's joining Republican lawmakers in Pennsylvania and Georgia who say they plan to introduce similar legislation in their swing states. They claim the real insurrection is occurring at the border with Mexico. Disagreeing with somebody's policies and and not liking somebody as a president is certainly not the same thing as insurrection. Ashley Adams is a former U.S. assistant attorney. To her, it looks like McGar and the other Republicans are trying to make a point about kicking Trump off the ballot rather than making a serious legal argument about removing Biden and that this proposal shouldn't be taken seriously. And while we wait for this legislation to be introduced by McGar, he is certainly fundraising off this idea. Now, we tried to contact McGar, but he was unavailable for comment. In the newsroom, Dennis Well, cheers on his family. Well, Dennis, it seems it's not even based on facts or, else, or the, even the definition of insurrection. So is this going to take up time at our state capitol in the new session? Well, it could take up time in the sense that, you know, McGar is going to be writing this piece of legislation and it could take up time because if this legislation was to move forward, it would probably have to go. It would go through committees and what and whatnot. And ultimately, if it's just like any other piece of legislation. It's going to end up on the desk of Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs. Now, I can tell you that I just don't see Democratic uh, Governor Katie Hobbs signing a bill that would kick the sitting president off the ballot here. But. We'll have to wait and see and see what happens. All right, Dennis Welch in our newsroom tonight. Thanks, Dennis.